Greetings fellow creeps and weirdos and lovers of the art of monsters. It's time for Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady once again. I'm 15th century Dutch philosopher Erasmus of Rotterdam and tonight's mask is another good one from Trick or Treat Studios. A place that's brought us a lot of good masks in the last few years. This particular one, if I can get him up off the floor here, looks a lot like this and is called... You ready? called, <clears throat> I'll get it right, don't worry, he's called Vampire Demon. You got that? Vampire Demon. Now, he wants me to be very specific about that because for some reason, uh, mass collectors uh, keep calling him Demon Vampire. They're getting, I don't know why, maybe that, that rolls off the tongue better for some humans, but uh, he's, he's not, uh, in fact, a, a Demon Vampire. He is, to be precise, uh, a vampire demon, so be sure you get that right, because he gets really testy about people getting his name wrong. And, you know, I can relate, I understand, sure, I completely sympathize, I know I wouldn't like it if people called me Lady David, wouldn't like that at all. I would probably conjure up something like him and send it after them if people called me. Anyway, offered in 2014 introduced in 2014 from the folks of trick or treat studios this particular character sculpted designed and sculpted by the legendary jeff keim better known to his legions of fans as jeff death the guy who's been uh, selling wonderful high quality masks as death studios since uh, approximately uh 835 a.d i think that's about when he started his business uh, and still at it, as of this uh, video shoot anyway. Uh, this is a Jeff Death sculpture, and it has it has a lot of the, um, I was going to say ear marks, and then I realized the ears are pretty smooth. There aren't really any marks on them, but it has a lot of the qualities that one might uh, recognize as the work of Jeff Keim, a.k.a. Jeff Death, which, which is to say it has sort of an elegance about it. It has uh, a simplicity of design that uh, rather than seeming uh, you know hurried or unfinished or overly simplified it has a simplicity that really works and looks natural and gives it kind of a sophistication you know rather than looking uh, like somebody's art project this looks like something that could actually exist and I don't know what color it looks like on your monitor there but uh, it's actually a very very pale purplish skin color Okay, and the shadow color is kind of the color of a bruise, kind of a, I guess you'd call that plum, sort of a plum color in the recesses and, uh, you know, like under the cheeks and so forth. His eyes are um, sort of pink in the center and red at the corners, which is really cool because he looks like either he's been, um, he's been a long time without sleep or he's been exposed to an allergen of some sort or maybe he's been, um, smoking controlled substances that he shouldn't have been smoking but in any case it makes him look a little creepy and a little uh, abnormal especially when you consider the fact that he has slit pupils rather than uh, you know traditional human style round dot pupils now this guy sells for around 50 bucks this design used to be offered uh, in, in a Death Studios direct version but uh, that version is not available anymore it was the same the same thing just you could get it from Jeff Death and uh, now you have to get it, the Trick or Treat Studios version, but it's the same sculpture, the same, the same basic design, and it's marked on the back here, and it says, let me just tell you, Trick or Treat Studios, Jeff Death, made in Mexico, down at Rev, name of the place where they make these wonderful quality masks, and uh, the, the Vampire Demon, not Demon, Vampire, see, I got it right, the Vampire Demon retails for around 50 bucks, and I think it's well worth it because uh, he's just a cool, cool-looking thing. As a matter of fact, uh, when when mine uh, first arrived, it was um, it was on the table uh, downstairs, and when Laura, my wife, came in, the first thing she said was, "Well, who's the handsome devil?" 